So this video, I'm going to go over some of the options that we have in uh, power and connectivity using the surface mount and the in-wall mount. Uh, and we have the Omni from a prior installation, so it is not in the box. I'm going to start out with the surface mount. Reminder, we have installation guides on the side here. Uh, so if you scan that with your phone camera, then you can visit the website and look at all the different connectivity options. Uh, command strips and security screws as you have the surface mount, uh, that mode switch by default just for power it is pointing to zero holes here on the side uh, and cable tray on the back. Everything is the same. So you'll actually see the identity of the surface mount. This may, depending on the connectivity option, may uh, end up being important. It's also printed on the side of the box. That code on the left-hand side, you can see, corresponds with this MAC address right here. So this is the Ethernet MAC address, and you may need that for uh, BACnet over IP or Ethernet data connection. So I'm going to set this aside for a second and come back here to the in-wall mount box. I'm going to start uh, with the gang plate cover. Uh, so this is a piece of plastic that covers up the metal gang plate. Now this has a lot of different holes and uh, you know uh, screw into the either the drywall or an electrical box, uh, VAV box, um, different sizes. You can see the descriptions of all of the holes. Now for drywall, we recommend the R hole, uh, the furthest out here, uh, especially if you're going to be doing an in-wall uh, mount option, uh, cables behind the wall. Uh, you might want to have that hole be as far away as possible from uh, a hole that you would put into the drywall. So we're going to set that aside. We're not going to install that in this video. Uh, so we're just going to go through the surface mount and uh, connecting to our in-wall mounts uh, backpack. So this is what actually does the RJ45 for the Ethernet or PoE uh, power and data. Uh, this also houses the RS45 lines for BACnet MSTP, uh, as well as low voltage uh, wiring and, and ground. Um, and the instructions have all, you know the meanings of all of these uh, values on here. Um, you can see there's. No identity of a device here, so these are interchangeable. Other accessories we have here, various screws for drywall. Um, you know, there's there's also four here that uh, you'll end up connecting um, to the gang plate. And make sure you take note of that MAC address. That's really important, um, but you can always look it up on the surface mount box. Again, as they pointed out on the bottom. You want to make sure that's nice and tight and secure and that is all set so uh, next we'll move on to uh, powering this up and uh, getting the Omni connected as you can see here I've attached the RJ45 uh, Ethernet cable and you want to make sure that that is compatible with PoE that it can supply power. Um, on the right hand side back here, you can see that I have this line coming out uh, from the PoE side of a PoE injector. 
Now this may also be a switch or something like that on the network for the, these uh, purposes. Uh, in this scenario, I have an injector uh, and the data side, the far side is going back to the computer. Now the status LED on the front here will be lit up. Uh, you don't see anything on the back uh, on the RJ45 uh, status light quite yet. I'm going to next uh, switch the mode switch to Ethernet. The green status LED will show up on the RJ45 port on the back. Again, that status LED uh, power status on the front uh, and that mode mode two is selected with the switch. So this is actually now hosting a uh, mini web page uh, on this device. And I'm gonna bring up the computer here and we can actually go and uh, start to look at that page. I'm going to use LandScan, a uh, absolutely good uh, program to scan for devices on the local network. Um, there are options to choose uh, different uh, interfaces. Uh, I'm going to choose one that will help me connect and find uh, my, again, my laptop is sharing its IP address with this local network between the surface mount and uh, through the backpack and to the laptop. I'm going to go ahead and scan. Vendor will be listed as us, Bitfinder Inc. Uh, our doing business as name is Aware. Consistent with our other products, we have um, MAC address in the range uh, 70886B as in boy. And then the last six of the MAC address are unique to each Aware device. So if I copy this IP address, come over here to my browser, I can pull up the local API. Now, at one of these, uh, because there's no Omni connected, it says this URI does not exist. There's no Omni supplying data, so there's no, no results there. Um, on the settings slash data or the device settings uh, you can retrieve information right now just from the surface mount um, omni is empty because there's no omni plugged in um, so we can see for the surface mount uh, in the json response here we can see our ip address the net mask gateway is again my laptop um, we have that ethernet mac address uh, the Ethernet firmware version, so you can check on that, and the hardware version. Um, usually you won't need to use that. Um, next I'm going to uh, attach the Omni. Now, because it's on mode two, it'll say ETH for ethernet. And that white status LED will blink until it's fully connected. And now the Omni is reporting the status LED for the score. Um, it's connected over ethernet. Now it's gone uh, blinking disconnected. Uh, we'll see it come back up in a second. All right, that status LED is solid. We're gonna to go to that latest sample, and there we go. It's reporting all of the sensor values uh, in the JSON format. Go back, device settings. The surface mount settings are still there, 
and now we have an Omni section uh, with all of the Omni local API data that you would normally see when connecting directly to a device. Everything from the device UUID to the MAC address, uh, Wi-Fi MAC, uh, this is different from the Ethernet MAC on the Surface Mount, the Omni's IP address. Now this IP address is local just to the Surface Mount and the Omni. It's a miniature network between them here. Uh, so most of these details down there, it's just a network large enough for itself. Uh, there's a firmware version, so you can see what the latest version is there, what time zone it thinks it has that you've set, um, the display mode, LED settings, brightness, etc., and the power status. So you can see that uh, the battery is charged 100% and it plugged in. So that's the basic uh, setup of the Omni there using that in wall mount um, and connecting over Ethernet.